بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا فورتھ لرننگ پیتھ ڈپلائی اینڈ مینٹین ایسڈس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک چوز اے ڈسٹریبیوشن میتھڈ وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن کریٹ اینڈ مینیج ورک اسپیسز اینڈ ایسڈس سو ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیو ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ رپورٹس اینڈ وی ہیو سین دیٹ واٹ آر سم آف دی آپشنز اویلیبل فار دا رپورٹس لائک ایکسپورٹنگ دا ڈیٹا ان اے پی ڈی ایف or in an excel or even in a powerpoint environment but primarily if you talk about reports these are uh, meant for individuals so if you have uh, individuals in your team they want to share data with individuals then reports are the best way of actually distributing the data we haven't really talked about dashboards and apps but just to highlight this point here that once you build a dashboard like we are going to do in the subsequent videos the purpose of building a dashboard is to actually distribute to a larger group of individuals or what we call as a team so if you are interacting with a team then it is best to actually share a dashboard and once you have the entire organization as your audience or you want to share something with the entire organization then you can do it with the apps so just keep this thing in mind we are going to discuss dashboards and apps in the subsequent videos so once we talk about distribution options sharing or distribution options we have multiple options available in the power bi environment so we have already seen that how we can export a report in a static pdf or as part of a power bi sorry powerpoint presentation but there are other ways of actually sharing reports and dashboards so if you want to share reports on dashboards like i just said then these are uh, to be done with individuals or with a smaller team similarly we have already seen that how in a workspace we can have people come to a workspace so we can create a team in a workspace and they automatically get the access to the data sets reports dashboards and some of the other assets then we just talked about publishing an app where we have a larger group or a larger team or even the entire organization then we can use the, this app to actually share the uh, the whatever information we want to actually um, distribute then there are a few other methods where well, the first one being the method where you can embed the information in your report into a sharepoint online uh, uh, page or through a url or even through an iframe so this is again another method which which, which you can uh, use then there is a method which can publish everything in your report to the web so anybody having a link to that url anybody in the world or anybody who has access to internet can just go and actually access this information so these are some of the distribution options which are available and depending upon the scenario depending upon the data depending upon the privileges that are there Uh, and set some and certainly some of the data policies you can choose any of these particular options so now let's go uh, to the power bi service and see how these options are are shared there so here i am inside the power uh, bi service and i am inside my workspace and i have already my, my maven market report already open and here if you come you are going to find a option which is the option share so we have already have a look at export and we are also going to look at some of the options which are there in the file menu but let's first start with the share so if i click here on the share you are going to see that there are multiple options that pop up so i can actually copy the link of my report and then share it with the people to, which are which are in the organization i can even mail uh, them then i also have this option which has been available for now quite some time that i can even share the report in the teams environment the powerpoint environment we have already seen so these are some of the ways to actually distribute the information and if you want to actually uh, see that what are the options that you know are available in terms of the people in the organization so you have either the option to to share uh, everything with the people in your organization people with existing access or specific people and obviously all of this is associated with the email addresses of these org of these people or the credentials of these people in the organization similarly you have a few settings here where you can control the sharing or the resharing and also what kind of uh, stuff they can the recipients can use 
to build content on top of that. So we have already talked about some of these things here. Uh, I'm not going to actually go into, into the detail. So if I just select here people in your organization and select apply, then here I can give the name or the email addresses and then I can just choose any of the options that I want. So this is one of the method of distributing information are related to your Power BI report. Similarly, if I come here and click on the file option here, then here I have this option that we just talked about, which is the embedding of report. So embedding actually allows you to uh, embed your report in a SharePoint online. So the best way of actually sharing your uh, report within the organization is that if they have the SharePoint a website or SharePoint pages available, then you can embed that. You can also do that inside a website or a portal, but this obviously comes with a few other uh, requirements related to the licensing. Then this is the option which I talked about uh, in, in on the slide deck that you can actually publish the entire report to the to the web or it is available to public but obviously you have to make sure that there is no data which is confidential and you need to obviously have this uh, capability enabled inside uh, the Power BI tenant by the Power BI admin. Then there is a playground environment where you can go and actually uh, play around with the with the, um, with the developer playground where you can actually publish this. So this is, uh, we are not going to actually go and discuss this. But you remember, these are some of the options which you can use to actually share or distribute your, your content. Obviously, then we have the standard options like printing, we can also download the file that this file can be downloaded as a PBIX file. We can also save a copy of this file if we have made certain changes and if we are allowed to make any changes. So all of these options are actually related to the sharing and distribution. So we are going to explore some of the other options uh, like uh, the settings which are associated with the with the file in the next video. Also some of the manage permission options we are going to have a look in the next video. So that's all for sharing and distribution of uh, the content in the Power BI workspace, especially the Power BI uh, report file. So I'll catch up with you in the next video.